There are two design questions that I get a lot. How do I create something people will find interesting? And how do I edit my content down? So these sound like completely different questions, but they've actually got the exact same solution. You need to get to know your audience. People seem to want to make a single design that does all things for all people. But the problem is that what makes a design good isn't the same for everyone. Different audiences want different things, and so, no surprise, when you try and design something that works for everyone, you end up with something so bland and generic that it works for no one. Plus, trying to include all the information that anyone might ever want tends to make things a bit of a content dump, too. What you need to do is to stop trying to design for everyone and instead zone in on the specific audience you're trying to reach and figure out what exactly they care about. Yep, yeah, that's right. Before you even start designing, you need to spend time identifying who exactly you're designing for. And once you know that, then you need to ask yourself a bunch of questions that will help describe things like what information they're interested in, what they already know, what they don't care about at all, and how much detail they're going to want. Then you can use that information to put together an average description of your audience and their needs, an audience profile. You can do this informally in your head, but if you're designing with a team, it can be helpful to actually write down this profile and share it with the group. It's this profile that's going to help you design something that people love. Every time you're about to make a design decision, ask yourself, does this line up with what you know your audience wants? And if it doesn't, don't make that choice. So here's an example. Let's say you're putting together a presentation on the launch of your company's newest product. You quickly realize, though, that you're technically presenting to two audiences, and they are really, really different. First, you need to share it with the company's executives. Based on your audience profile, you know these particular executives hate getting bogged down in the details, get bored when they've already heard something before, don't have a lot of time, and always want to know how something is going to help the company meet its sales targets. Plus, they already know what the product is. So to make a design that they'll care about, you're going to want to make something short, a high-level overview of just the launch and your expected sales. Skip the nitty-gritty details because they don't care about that, and don't bother talking about what the product is again because they'll zone out. But then there's your other audience, your salespeople. Their audience profile tells you that they're happiest when you're giving them practical advice, details, and specific ideas about how to sell products. Also important note here, they haven't heard much about this new product yet. If you give these guys the same presentation that you gave the executives, they're going to be irritated that it's all strategy and no application. Plus, they won't know enough about the product to sell it properly, which is going to be a serious problem. The right design for them is something longer, something that takes the time to explain what the new product is, what some of its most exciting features are, and any advice you have for getting customers to actually want to buy it. So what this shows is just how much your audience's interests and needs can change what the right design ends up being. If you take the time up front to get to know your audience and then use that information to guide your choices along the way, you'll end up creating things that get people engaged and excited about what you're trying to say.